My name is Sam, and I'm going to tell you about one of my favourite Bible stories. It was a story my dad told me a lot as a kid. It comes from the book of Exodus. It's about Moses. I'm sure you've heard lots about Moses before, but this is about Moses and the burning bush. You see, Moses had ran away from Egypt and become a farmer in the land that he was living in. And he was out with his sheep one day, he was doing really good shepherding and farming of his, and looking after of his sheep. And one day he came to this bush. This bush, he looked at it and he saw on fire. But it's not burning up. The leaves are still on it. The branches are still there. He was so confused. He then heard a voice from it saying, Moses, come to me. Moses was really confused. He thought, I reckon he thought, he was imagining things. But he did what the voice told him. He started walking towards him. The voice then said, Moses, you are on holy ground. Take off your sandals. And so Moses listened, took off his sandals, and he walked up to this bush. And this bush continued speaking, Moses, I am who I say I am. God in the Old Testament was known as the I Am. So this way, Moses knew that this was God talking to him. He said, Moses, I am so upset about my people being treated poorly and meanly by the Egyptians. I want you to help. Moses was very confused. He was very nervous. He didn't want to go back to Egypt. He thought he'd be arrested because before he left, he had killed someone. And so he thought he was going to get in trouble. He said, God, I can't do this. I'm not very good at public speaking and I could get arrested as soon as I go back. And the people of Israel may not even listen to me. What am I to do? Throw down your stuff. He threw down his stuff and it turned into a snake. Moses was very confused. He then picked up his stuff while it was a snake and it turned back into a staff. He then put his hand inside his jacket and pulled it out and it suddenly had leprosy on it. He then put it back in and pulled it out and the leprosy was gone. He knew then that this truly was God. The God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Joseph. This was the God of Israel. And so Moses knew that he should trust this burning bush that he was not imagining and was actually happening. And God said, go use your brother Aaron. He's very good at public speaking and he will help you. So he went back to Egypt, found Aaron, and went up to the Pharaoh. And I'm sure you can learn about that story yourself by reading in Exodus. But I really like this story. One, it brings back memories of my dad doing the voices of Moses going up to the bush. Two, it shows that Moses trusted God, and so should we. And three, God knows us and knows our strengths and our weaknesses and will provide for people to help us with our weaknesses so we can do better. Just like God provided Aaron for Moses. And later on, Moses did become a pretty good public speaker. You can read lots of his speeches in Deuteronomy. Thank you very much, and I hope that you have a good day. Bye-bye.